Well, Echo Park Lake is open again after the homeless living there were re relocated and tons of trash removed, but not everyone is celebrating. Some neighbors are still frustrated as well. NBC4's John Caddy's Klimak joins us live now from Echo Park with the story. John. Yeah, Carolyn, we're standing here at uh, the playground. Two months ago, this area was abandoned. And the reason for that, according to the city, there were just too many tents that had surrounded it. And even though this may look like progress to some, there are others who say this is not. Shame on Mitch! Shame on Mitch! Just as the gates reopened to the public at Echo Park Lake, the protests from homeless advocacy groups returned. In my neighborhood, and I can't even enjoy it because it just opened today and everyone wants to protest again. I think it was a Anger between residents of Echo Park and former residents of the lake forced out when the park closed in March for a two month, million dollar makeover. How are we supposed to come back? This woman says she lived in a tent near the lake for months before the closure and denies the city's claim that social workers spent months trying to find shelter for those. Living here. The city says more than 190 of 200 people who lived here accepted the help. So, did you take the housing that they offered or no? They haven't offered me shelter that can accommodate me safely, man. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't know my life, you don't know my story, but not all of us are able to be sheltered in a house. But I wanted to come down and see with my own eyes. For others in the neighborhood, this was a moment they had been waiting for. Excited. Finally. Hopefully, they will keep it up this way. We are now enforcing a lot more sections. Uh, that we were once able to enforce. LAPD promising to enforce city code so no one lives at the park. And Councilman Mitch O'Farrell, who opened the park to NBC4 for the first time last week, says LA residents have his word. How are you going to be able to maintain this? We enforce the rules at the park while we keep the housing solutions going. We will not let this get back to what it was. Uh, and you can count on that. <laughs> Now here's something you'll notice that is different. The fencing that surrounds Echo Park Lake. This is actually going to stay up at least through the end of the year. They say they're going to have security here 24-7 to make sure that everybody is out of the park by 1030 at night and cannot return until 5 o'clock in the morning. Reporting live in Echo Park, I'm John Kelly's Klimak, NBC4 News.